So, I know it took like seven years, but with the help of some incredible people on the support squad, we finally have a Discord. And it's actually been a lot of fun now that it's set up. Shoutouts to Sower of Systems for literally setting it up and helping walk me through the entire process of creating the Discord. I can tell you right now, without him volunteering to help on this, the Discord would just straight up not exist right now. He really kept pushing on Patreon, hey, you should make a Discord, and finally I caved in and was like, okay, fine, but you're gonna help me make it, because I know nothing about Discord. And he did, and it's actually been a lot of fun, so thanks, man, really appreciate it, you're awesome. I honestly thought this was gonna be, like, an extra mountain of stress and time that I wasn't really sure I could afford, but it's actually opened up quite a lot of new ideas for me for things that we can do together as a community. It has all the usual stuff you would expect, standard rules, announcements, informing you about whatever the latest thing I'm working on is. Usually it's the latest YouTube video, but sometimes it'll be a heads up or a quick notice for upcoming events. Here under tutorials, I have grouped all the most important video playlists for things that you might want to know as a computer artist. Everything I've covered from Blender, Unity, ZBrush, Substance Painter, AI, Mobile, and Unreal can be found here. So if you need information quickly, that might be a good place for you to look. Now, next we have live stream suggestions. We successfully tested our first live stream on the channel last week, and since it was a lot of fun for both me and you guys, I'll probably start doing streams more regularly. I'm still figuring out what the best day and time to schedule them would be, but they'll really just be a time for me to relax and have some fun Q&A with you guys. At the beginning of each stream, I'll look through the suggestions that you guys make here and let you know my thoughts and opinions on the topic. Something else I plan to do is open up live streams to something like free consultations. So if you are okay with the idea of doing a live audio call on Discord during a stream, and you want to tell me about your project and maybe get some advice on it, then that will probably be an option later for those of you who are interested. For now, just drop any ideas you have for stuff you'd like to get feedback on, and each stream I'll get through as much of it as I can. Something else we have here is the help channel. Sometimes if I'm lucky and I have time, I will personally answer if I feel I can explain the solution quickly. Otherwise, I'm sure there are lots of other people who probably know the answers, so it's worth asking if all else fails. And here we have daily progress, which in my opinion is the most important part of the Discord for those of you who are on a mission. It's where we can help inspire each other to keep momentum and support each other on our quest to make progress on our goals. Whatever progress you make that day, I don't care how small or insignificant you think it is, I don't care if it was just downloading Unreal 5 or opening up the software for the first time and setting up your hotkeys. Just share your progress here so we can thumbs up and support you. This particular part of the Discord was inspired by a habit that I made during college where every day I was super busy with school, work, life, but I wanted to learn to make video games, and so I promised myself that every day, even if it's just five minutes, I'm gonna learn to program my own game. And usually five minutes every day is all I really had. So every day I documented all the progress that I made towards my goal. And I actually still have the original list, which you're seeing right here. And you can see that on my first day, my accomplishment was literally put an object in Unity. And it looked like this. That's it. That is what I learned to do that day. Took five minutes to figure out, and I know it's tiny, but that was something I didn't know how to do before, and that is now something that I don't have to learn the next day. And I just did that every day, until many years later, the project was finally done, and I had this whole list thing documented. So, whatever progress you make, share it here. I love to see what you guys are working on, and even if I don't have time to say much, if I see it, I will leave a little flame emoji to help feed the fire and keep you motivated to keep going. Now, if you've got cool stuff finished, you can share that in the finished works here. It's always fun to see the cool stuff you guys have completed, and it really is something worth celebrating. So if you finish something, drop it here, and I'll support with some fire. And of course, last but not least, we have a fun little Armored Core area for anyone who wants to talk about challenges, strategies, or things they want to develop, or just share some cool paint jobs with other people. Right now, the Armored Core meta seems to really favor heavy weapons, shotguns, and spammy quads. And here, we're going to try and come up with some counterplay to the meta and probably put those ideas to test at the end of each live stream. There's also some Patreon and member support squad specific channels, but I'll talk more about that in the next video. In the meanwhile, thank you so much for being patient with the discord i know it took forever but it is finally available for anyone who wants to join hope to see you there and as always hope you have a fantastic day and i'll see you around